Welcome to another attempt at this over-the-shoulder approach to see how we can play this week's weekly free instant tournament. Um, so we're on board one and the robots open one no trump, which is 15 to 17 no trump. It can have a five card major. And we're sat opposite with another 15. So these suit are, well, our points are in our short suits, which is not good. So this is probably not going to be productive. But if we can get a 4 4 fit, that'll probably be better than three no trumps. We'll probably make an extra trick playing in the suit. So we're just going to go stamen and see what happens. They've got two hearts. I don't think we can get to, we can make, we're likely to be making six hearts here. At most, we've got 32 points between us and a 4 4 fit and a very bad suit. So I'm going to settle for four hearts um, and see if we can make enough over tricks to get a good percentage. Right, so I get to play the robot's hand and, uh, well, it's quite good in that sense. We got um, five minor suit cards in each hand and we've got five minor suit winners. So that's good. Um, we've got good chance that we've only got one heart loser. Um, if we, if we got jack 10, 9, 8, 7, so we've got plenty of intermediates. And we can take two finesses and provided one of the honours is in the west hand, we'll, or at least one of the honours is in the west hand, if they're both there, that's just as good. We'll only have one heart loser. And then in spades, we have to hope the queen of spades is in the west hand. So there are chances of 12 tricks, but it's not a good slam. Um, Although you've got a 75% chance of one heart loser, you've only got a 50% chance of no spade loser. So all in all, that would be a less than 50% chance of making a small slam. Um, so we were right to stay out of it, even though we might make 12 tricks. So we'll win the diamond in our hand. And we need to start taking some we need to draw trumps, hopefully, to start with. If they're three, two, we can draw them. If they're not, we may have to stop and do something else. And they're five nil. Well, that's an offside. So it's a very good job we didn't put the slam then. Right. So there's no point in going up with the ace. We may as well get them to use in one of their tricks. It rather looks like they've got three trump tricks. So our club comes once again. We need to win that in our hand. To risk that finesse. So our problem now is we've got the two heart honor losers um, and the uh, X and the long hearts to lose. So we've got three trump tricks to lose. Really, we can't afford to lose a spade trick. But there are going to be advantages in making them take their winning heart early on. Um, so I'm thinking about doing that now. I'm just thinking about whether I should do something to eliminate the losers. Um, probably I should. So I'm going to. Um, just get rid of my minor suits and see if that persuades the robot to play a spade. Um, it shouldn't, because although play, if I exit the playing the minor suits will give me a rough and a discard, it's only the fourth spade that I'm going to discard, and my losing spade is potentially the third round of spades. So this is, if the robot's clever enough, this is a case where giving away a rough and a discard won't Give up a trick. Anyway, I'm going to try and I'm going to eliminate the minor suits just to see if that will. Oh well, that, that's their length winner. 
you'll notice, and they have now led spades. So that's the good news. Um, so I'm going to play low on this spade. Let's see what happens. The queen appears. That's the good news. We've got no spade loops so now. Um, right, and no other losers. Um, we'll need to. Um, they've still got their three trumps, including one big winner. And so let's just see if we can make them take their one big winner because we've got all that, we've got plenty of winners. They do that. So that's taken the big heart out. I've only got two hearts left, they're playing them. Right, so that's fine. Um, we can let that run around there. We can draw the last trump. Cash our queen of diamonds, throwing our club loser away. Take our club winner. Cash our jack of spades, because the queen's gone. Singleton there. Right, and we know those two spades are winners, so we can just claim now. So it's a good job we didn't go looking for slam that with that bad break. And uh, so making the contract was worth 67%. Presumably means some other tables did better. Um, so no trumps did turn out to be better because of the bad break in hearts. Um, four spades also proved to be better. But in general, um, that sort of hand looked like it would be better in a suit contract. It's just a bad break that uh, worked against us. Right, on to hand two. Um, uh, that's 15, this is 18 points. So we're too strong for a one no trump opening in this system, despite the fact that we've got this minus, these minor suit holdings, which usually we would want to get try and get one no trump in as it's a slightly preemptive opening. But we're going to have to open one club here. One heart from partner. Mm. So we're rather pinpointing the spade lead for the opponents now. Um, very tempted to bid two no trumps, try and stop them leading spades because it's match point scoring and well, no, I'm going to bid two diamonds, which is a reverse. So I'm showing 16 plus points. Should be, let's see what the robot thinks two diamonds is. Okay. So open a reverse, five plus clubs, four plus diamonds, three minus hearts, 21 might, 18 to 22 total points. So that's what I've got. So I'm going to bid two diamonds and see what the robot can do. So the robot's giving me three diamonds, which says it's got four diamonds, four plus hearts, eight. Forcing to three no trumps. Um, well, I'm not going to three no trumps because um, I don't have a spade stop. And three spades wouldn't ask for a spade stop, even though I don't think, even though it's four suit forcing. Let's have a look and see what the robot thinks three spades mean. It looks as though it shows three plus spades, which I don't have. So now I've got aces. Has my robot got an ace? Um, Found a forcing bid. Um, I could bid four no trumps, Roman key card, Blackwood. Um, there are missing two key cards in the robot. So if the robot only has one of them, it will bid five diamonds. Um, and if it's got none of them, it will bid five clubs. So I think I'm all right here. If it turns out to have those two missing key cards, the ace of spades and the ace of diamonds, um, then I think I'll have a go at six diamonds. So I'm going to bid four no trumps here. Broken key card, Blackwood for diamonds. So it's got two key cards and the queen of diamonds. We've got the ace of diamonds, the ace of spades, and the queen of diamonds. So this is almost enough to think 
you look at this, if they've got anything else at all, um, at the moment we've got a spade loser and a heart loser, probably. Um, if they've got another king, we're probably in the realms of making seven. So, but the king of hearts and king of spades, and we've got diamonds. So, a double five spades. So it looks like um, we don't have the king of spades. Um, so I'm going to settle for six diamonds here because uh, seven is just we can't really explore whether seven is possible. That's often a problem when it's a minor suit and you use Roman key card Blackwood for no trumps and you're looking for a minor suit. You've got to be careful to make sure you can stop in five of the minor if you're missing two key cards and you haven't got much room to explore missing kings um, if you're interested in a grand slam. So we'll settle for six diamonds here and we'll see what happens. Seven of spades. So what looks like we need to happen here is we need to get rid of our spade losers. We'll see that after we've drawn trumps, we better hope they're three, two. Um, we can throw one on spade on the winning club and hopefully we can rough another club good. Or they'll break three, three and they'll both be good. And we can throw a spade away, rough a spade there and we'll have the heart finesse for an over trick rather than for just making the contract. That assumes that we get a 3-2 trump break. Otherwise, it may be a little more dicey. We have got three top trumps here in my hand, which is a good thing. So I think we will start with the ace of diamonds. I might want to rough with the queen eventually in dummy if they break 4 1. So we'll do that. And number 10, just to keep everything flexible. Right, so that's all right. Trumps have broken 3 2. Now we just need clubs not to be really bad. And if they are, we'll still have the heart finesse available. So I'm going to draw one more round of trumps to get the last of their trumps out because we had eight trumps so they had five. I think that's the easiest way of counting it so we've got rid of that. Now we're going to catch our clubs. Oh, that looks good. We can always rough the last club good now. Jack, maybe they're going to break 3-3, three, three, in which case, no, they're not. So we got rid of one of our spades. We need to get rid. We can now bleed five of clubs, six of here, there. Well, We'll rough. Need to get back to hand. I'm going to leave the Queen of Hearts just in case that persuades East to put the King on and make my Jack good. Um, no, in fact, I need the Heart Finesse, don't I? I'm rubbish because I've still got two losers in my hand. I can't rough the spade because I have to rough the club good. So I need the Heart Finesse now. So I'd better take the heart finesse. And so I'm going to go one down. Sorry, I missed played all that. And the robot's given me an, had given me an extra chance to make it. So I played that very badly. I should have not drawn trumps. I counted my tricks better. Um, I needed two roughs in dummy. So that was a bit of a mess. But we'll see what we can do to persuade them that um, something silly, but they're not going to robots, don't do silly things. 
So this will be a bad score. Thirty-five percent. Did somebody manage to make six diamonds? Yes, two people did. It's a good contract, and you must just not draw trumps. You must set up your side suit winners first. Right. Um, so we've got another good hand here. Seventeen points. One or two. Um, this poor intermediates, aces and kings. These points are playing in a suit contract rather than no trumps. Um, you shouldn't be afraid to open one no trump with five four two two shape. Um, most good players these days are quite prepared to open one one no trump with this shape if they're in the right point range and the robot plays 15 to 17 which is what we have here but this hand which is I say aces and kings and low cards no intermediates no eights nine one eights but no nines tens um is much more suited to suit play than to um no trumps so we'll open this one heart One no trump and partner, which you'll see is a forcing one no trump. But um, it could be up to 12 points. And we've got a good hand here. So really 17 points. I think we need to bid three diamonds. Let's see what the robot would think three diamonds mean. Strong hand, 18 to 21. Mm, we've only got 17. I don't like it really. I'm going to bid two diamonds and unless my partner can do a bit more. Um, and raise to three diamonds, right? But that would tend to mean well, they've got five plus diamonds, three minus hearts, um, eight to twelve total points. Once again, we're getting a bit close to slam territory, but I don't like it. Um, I think they should have raised me if they've got three hearts. Am I going to try three spades here? It says they're biddable spades, 15 to 18 total points. Um, and then my part, then we might bid three no trumps. So I'm going to bid three spades here just to try and see if my partner will bid three no trumps. With the club stop. No, they're going to bid four diamonds. So we're going to play in five diamonds here, um, even though it's match points. And we'll see if the robot should have bid three no trumps. Yeah. I think the robot should have tried three no trumps with that club holding. As it is, well, I don't think we can afford to draw trumps here. Um, oh, I think we'll see what the club position is first. So we'll come around and win this in our hand. And the ace of clubs is on side. Right. That queen of clubs looks interesting, doesn't it? Are they going to trump my king of clubs? Is there any point in playing low? No, because if, but if they rough, there's a fair chance that if this hand had a singleton club, they had three diamonds, in which case they may be roughing with their winning trump if they are roughing. So we'll play the king of clubs. Not bad, queen jack. All right, so that's okay. We're now in quite a good position. Um, we can play two rounds of trumps, trying to drop the queen. Unless they're 4 0, um, they can make the queen whenever they like because we'll just cross rough the rest of the tricks. Um, we'll see that um, if we take two trumps out, ace and king, um, we've got the ace, king of hearts, ace of spades, and then we can just, I can rough three little hearts in dummy and two clubs in my hand, and they can over rough the queen of diamonds whenever they like. I won't mind losing that one trick because that'll make my contract. 
So I'll leave the three of diamonds and just check trumps aren't four nil. They're not. Right, so I'm now going to cash the king of diamonds and they broke. So now let me see, I can just come spade to the ace. Jack of hearts. Oh, I put the queen on as well, which is even better. So. And this time I'll make my 12 tricks in diamonds. Throw the club away and then claim. Well, it's worth just about average. That most people would manage to do the same thing, I imagine. Oh, the work, but there were some in six diamonds, and there are obviously some who didn't bid game. Right. Okay. So East has opened. My partner's passed. East has opened that. I've got six clubs and five diamonds and fifteen points. Although. The, King of Hearts is a bit dubious. I'm just going to tell my partner that I've got the minor suits and I want to compete. So I think if I bid two no trumps, it's unusual. It says 12 plus total points, five plus clubs, five plus diamonds, forcing. So my partner's going to pick his or her better minor, depending on the gender of the robot. Two no trumps, three clubs, doesn't really promise anything. Double is a takeout double. So they're showing hearts. I've got an extra club here. I don't want them finding their fit. So I'm, if I pass this, West is bound to bid something. So I'm going to bid four clubs here. Just to try and, because I don't, oh, my partner's bid four hearts. What does, it, what does that mean? It's a cupid. I've got the ace of hearts. I've got the king of hearts. Mm-hmm. My partner passed originally. What are the chances they got the ace of diamonds as well, which is what we really need to make a slam? I don't think so. I think I'm bidding five clubs here. But the robot thinks we're bidding six clubs. All right. So obviously it thinks my four clubs promised more. It thinks I have 25 to 29 total points, so no wonder it bids six clubs. Yes, it's about the sad thing about the robot's bidding system. You make a free a bid just to get in the way of the opposition, and the robot thinks you have the earth. So I should have checked that first. But I'll pass, and let's see what happens. I think I'm off two aces here. Yep, as expected, I'm off two aces, and possibly the queen of clubs. Oh, well, let's see what happens on the ace of clubs. The tens dropped. Mm. Right, so the robot, my partner turned up with seven points and I had my 15, that's 22. This hand did most of the bidding. Well, I can play for this hand to have had queen ten of clubs, or I can play for this hand to have three clubs. Queen. Ah. And I think I'll see what happens to the king of diamonds for now. I might run into a diamond rough. In the heart. This hand doesn't have the ace of diamonds, but it is going to trump a diamond now. But at least we found out about. Trump has paid. There's only one more trump left, so I'll draw that. And we've got they were 2 2 all the time. And Jack of Diamonds is good. Yeah, throw a diamond on the eight parts. Right, and now we can claim down two. So 
that wasn't a success and that gets me an absolute bottom. And nobody else was in six clubs. Lots of people made five clubs. You just whack out the ace and king of clubs and then you've got to play on the diamonds sufficiently well not to lose two of them. Right, I mean, let's see if we can get ourselves back over 50%. There's seven in clubs, five, 12, 14. Um, I tend to favor opening one no trump with flat 14 counts. Um, the robot bids much better in no trump sequences than it does in suit sequences. So we'll pretend we've got 15. And now, and we'll bid two hearts here. All right, so the robot in this sequence will have four spades. The robot had rebid two no trumps. It wouldn't, it would have denied a four card major. Um, in this sequence, they will have four spades because they wouldn't have bothered with staining without a four card major and they were going to bid two no trumps. So I should pass. And we get a spade. As I say, partner. Is that? That's quite good. So we're going to make the five club tricks. Um, quite, well, it looks like we're going to make three spade tricks. And now we have to hope that we guess well in diamonds if they attack them. So we'll play the two of spades. There's the king. So we've got three spade tricks, five club tricks at the top. Here comes a heart. Um, I'm going to play the king. That's the ace. Let's hope another heart comes back. It does. Right. So we're okay. We're going to make our nine tricks now. Um, right. Okay. Well, Sadly, we can never be in a position to lead towards the king of jack of diamonds. It's the long spades and the long clubs are both in dummy. So we're just going to have to cash our long spades, throw them apart, and then. Well, we'll try the king of diamonds just in case they spared the queen. And they haven't. We'll make our nine tricks, which should be a reasonable score. 92.9%. This is back up to exactly 50%. And we've got three boards to score a bit more than that. Right. So, but that is a good tip. If you're playing with a robot, um, and you've got a balanced 14 count. Generally, you do better to open one no trump um, and lie by a point. Um, I do that regularly now. So now um, when I'm playing with a robot, I actually, besides giving the robot's explanation, I also stick a thing in table chat to the opponents to say, if I open one no trump, that I also do it with 14 points because that's now effectively part of the system, even though the robot doesn't know it. And the opponents are entitled to know that. Right, now I've got another 5422 shape. The intermediates are a bit better here. Um, the diamonds might well run for five tricks and the two aces there. Um, and I'm not strong enough to reverse. So I am going to open this one, one no trump. Even I'm not wonderfully enamored of spade holding. The partner's gone to stamen again, so I'm going to go to spades to say I've got four spades and partner bits four spades, which is good. Um, 
and means that it's, I'm playing it. I mean, I've been playing it anyway, even if the robot got the contract, but if I open one diamond, the robot bids one spade, I'm going to bid on you know, probably three spades and really a little weak for three spades, but I'm too strong for two spades. So this makes the auction simpler, opening it one no trump. So that's another one. If you're five four two two, um, don't be afraid to open one no trump. I know you were taught not to open one no trump with two doubletons, um, but um, modern thinking is that you know, five four two two is a balanced hand. Right, I'm going to pass. We're now playing four spades. Our trumps may not be very good. Um, that may be our biggest problem. We have a diamond. Oh, those are quite good. So we can see that all our diamonds should be good. We've got the top five. We've got the top two hearts, so there's no losers there. Our trumps are pretty good. So we may have two club losers. And we could have a spade loser if the trumps are very bad. Um, and we may have a guess for the second over trick. So we should have 11 tricks and a guess for a 12th trick. Um, so just looking at this, we can, oh, if there are four spades to the jack, or God forbid, five spades to the jack, we can only pick them up if they're in the west hand, because that's the hand with the 10. So we're going to, when we play spades, we're going to play the king of spades and then the ace of spades. So that if this hand, if east shows out, we're in position to take the finesse and draw all the trumps. And this is, that's what you need to think about. You can see you've got eight trumps, so they've got five. If they're three, two, there's no problem. We've got the top three, they split three, two. If they split four, one, um, and the jack singleton, that's fine. But if they split four, one, and the jack's in the four, which is four times as likely as being a singleton, then, we can only pick it up with a finesse and we can only finesse one way. So what we, don't, what we don't play the ace of spades first, we play one of the king queen first and then the ace and then we will find out if the, they've broken 4-1 in time to take the finesse if it's possible. So I'm going to, not really short of entries in either hand, but I'm going to play the queen. Uh, I'm going to play the king of spades. They're not five nil because that really would be a worry. Um, come over to the ah, so they are four one. Oh, I didn't know that was going to happen. So now we must make our ace of spades. And now, if we draw trumps, we've got enough winners, so that's fine. So we take our spade finesse. Draw their last trump and cash our red suitors. We won't we'll do the diamonds first because they know that we have all these diamonds. They don't know that we don't have another heart, so we may be tempted to keep hearts and throw clubs. We might just have to get them and make them to make a mistake. If we, just leave the hearts and cash our diamonds for now. But as I throw clubs in play, it should become clear to them. They should find they can pick up the last two tricks. The ace of club, the hand with the ace of clubs should keep the winning heart. Just so I'll play the club, it's the king queen, jack, I'm gonna play the jack. Oh, and they did make a mistake. There we go. That was good. So 12 tricks should be another good score. 67%, so nudges us up to 53. All right. So, well, on that one, the example was, yeah, you had to be careful about the trumps, just work out what you could do if they were 4-1 before you started playing them. 
don't just assume they'll be three, two. And then think about it once you've found that they're four, one. Think about it first. So here we are with our 15 points, a six card heart suit, singleton diamond. Um, we'll open this one heart. Three hearts from partner, which is a limit raise, pretty much the same as it would be in England. We might play nine to 11 rather than 10 to 12, but I've got plenty to bid four hearts here. Um, and not enough to think, you know, if we had a perfect 10 points, ace of, ace of spades, ace of ace to four hearts and the queen of spades. So ace, queen of spades, ace to four hearts. Then we might make a slam, but we don't want to play for a miracle hand. So we're just going to go four hearts and uh, see if we can pick up some other tricks. Well, that doesn't do us any harm, but it doesn't do us a lot of good. So just looking at the trumps, we've got six here, four there. So that's 10. So they've got three. So the odds are that the queen will fall. They're more likely to split 2 1 and 3 0. There's no indication, if they do split 3 0, there's no indication as to which hand is more likely to do it, to have it. If we did do that, we'd cash the ace or the king from the one that wasn't sitting over that hand so that we could then take a finesse. Um, so we shouldn't have any diamond losers. We've got a club loser here. Unfortunately, the spades are three, three. So it looks as though the only chance of an extra trick here will be a minor suit squeeze, which may or may not materialize. Um, where will I want the entries to be? I want Entries to my hand, really. Doesn't matter. I'm going to put low. Low. And see. Oh, well, that means that I'll probably not get any more chance for squeeze, except the squeeze card will have to come from dummy. So we play the win. Our ace of diamonds. Right. Well, did he have, was that a single to ace of spades? I don't think so. I think there'd have been more bidding if this hand had six spades, even though they were missing all the top ones. I don't know which one, which of them's more likely to have three hearts. I'll play the ace of hearts. Um, And get the bad news that West has the three hearts, which I no longer can pick up. If I played the King of Hearts first, I could have taken finesse against the Queen. Right. So the fact that that means I'm going to lose that one means that I, and the sad news is I can't get back to dummy to uh, rough out the diamonds to force them to lead a club. So is there anything else I can do here when I give up the lead? So do I can get there with the jack of spades, can't I? Yes. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to lead the diamond. Rough it. Lead the ten of spades to the jack. Rough the ten of diamonds. Cash the king of heart. Going to eliminate the spades from both of our hands. Mine and the diamonds. I'm actually going to play an ace of the eight. Ace of clubs. 
And now I'm going to give the robots the lead with the Queen of Hearts and hope that they have to make a lead that gives us a trick. See if I can recover from getting it wrong. So they're playing a club. So now I have to guess whether the robot has the Queen of Clubs or has the Ten of Clubs. Um, I think that does the robot know that I'm roughing everything else but a rough and a discard? I think so. So I think it's bound to lead a club. And well, 50 50. I think it's slightly more likely to have led from the queen than the 10. So I'm going to try the jack. Right. Just if it had the 10, it might have led the 10 in the hope that partner had something high. But there we go. That's good. So we've got our trick back that we lost by playing hearts guessing hearts wrong to start with we've got an elimination so that's worth 75 percent making the over trick you'll see that most people well, quite a lot made an over trick but obviously quite a lot didn't so it was 75 percent so that's good that goes up to 56 percent let's see if we can get the final board right to make up for my previous errors um Right, this is about 14 points. Right, let's see if it will work again. Right. Well, we don't have a fit. Partner's got turned up with seven points. So we got 21 points. So we're probably going to need to make this to get a good score. We should make four club tricks. The Ace of Hearts is five. Um, I actually think spades is where I'm going to try and set up my other two tricks, at least one of them. Um, we may get a diamond trick here because East is going to have to win this trick. Oh, they're not going to win it. They're going to give us the diamond trick. Right. Okay. So we think the clubs will come in all right. Let's just. So we've got. One diamond, if we make four clubs, that's five. The ace of hearts is six. The queen of hearts might be a trick, but we'll let them see if they'll give it to us. Um, maybe that the ace of diamonds is right all the time. So let's set up, see if we can set up a spade trick. The advantage of playing on spades is we don't create any new winners for them. So the seven of hearts has come out. Um, this looks like West has the Ace of Diamonds, otherwise I think another diamond would have come. Um, well, it's not likely that the King's right, but I'm going to do that and I'm going to duck if the King comes up there. And I'm going to duck another heart. And then I'm going to take the Ace. And I can afford to throw a club from dummy. Throw the clubs in my hand, we hope. Right. Okay, so we've got our two, oh, sorry, we've got our two tricks. We have got four. We need to set up a spade trick. So let's lead the jack of spades, then they even duck it. Oh. Right. The Queen of Diamonds comes. I had the nine and the ten. So why did he not do it earlier? But why has he done it now? Because he doesn't have any more hearts, doesn't want to lead clubs, the spades are good. Hmm. On the other hand, if this has got three diamonds to the ace, then we need to duck this.
I'm thinking this this hand would have played diamonds before rather than hearts. I would have played it by having the ace of diamonds. All wrong. Right. Now I'm going to cash the heart first. Club. Two of clubs. No, oh, that's not going to be a success. We so broke four three. Broke four four, so there was no way to do it. Right, so this time I won that trump. Didn't prove to be a success. I can make those last two tricks. So minus 100, you'll see is only 25%. So I'm back down to 52%. So not a tremendous success. Um, don't know that we'd have been beating the 80% there. But anyway, a few examples of what not to do there. But uh, I hope you find it useful and uh, we will. Please tell me if you did, so I know it's worthwhile doing it again. Thanks very much. I'll stop recording. <laughs>